Good morning guys. So I am way behind on my haul videos and uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick one this morning of things that I got at the local little thrift store here in town. Um, I live in a town of about 1,500 people and so um, you know I'm happy just to have a thrift store at all and they actually do get quite a bit of clothing in and it's actually a decent size. Um, we do have some very wealthy people who live here in Wyoming and in Saratoga and uh, I'm just always amazed at some of the weird stuff that shows up. But anyway, um, I talked about this a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting it listed. Thankfully I can get it on the haul video. This is a Neiman Marcus. Let me spread this out even better. I need a GoPro for Christmas, guys, don't I? <laughs> so these will be more decent. Um, anyway, isn't this just amazing? And then you can see, I'm going to try to unzip this. Isn't that just the most amazing coat ever? <laughs> so I paid $10 for this. I'm going to start it at like $125 just because it's so unique. I don't know if I'll get that, but um, definitely let me show you the back. And we've also got that. So very interesting jacket. Okay, let's see what else I bought. This I bought all this week. I still haven't even, you know, I don't even remember what's in here. These are just a pair of cinch jeans but brand new with the tags. And uh, so I didn't think that, you know, anything new that just came out would be on sale half price, but on Thursdays they have half price day. So I actually got those for $3.50, which is just amazing. Oh, these are a pair of ASOS um, overalls. And uh, it was half price day, so I can't, these aren't even marked. I'm assuming I paid about two because the jeans are between four and five dollars, and it was half price day. And it's a UK size 18, so I don't even know what that translates. I'm gonna have to do some work on it, but they were in very good condition, black denim overalls, and so I thought those would sell. I'm gonna try for 2025. This is the cutest thing ever. I just got this for my daughter-in-law. They have two Boston Terriers. One is a traditional Boston like you see here, and the other one is a white Boston. So I just paid $1.50 for this, and I'm just going to make it a stocking stuffer um, in her stocking. Then I always pick up these types of sweaters. I've sold one before, and I got way over 50. I, I can't remember exactly, but this has horses. It's a tundra sweater. I didn't look it up. I just knew that it was worth my 250 since it was half price day. Um, and it looked like um, I knew that it had, you know, a little bit of damage there. But last time the one I had also, I think, had some damage and it didn't seem to really affect the price. These sweaters are just so unique and hard to find. So I picked that up. I thought that was cool. This item, I actually found for myself. It is so hard to find um, petite clothing, you know, for me, that I actually like. And this just looked really good with a pair of jeans. It's kind of just a long tunic jacket, and it fit really well. Um, so it says $10 on it. I didn't know it was half price day until I got up there, so I don't know if they charged me 5 or 10 But um, anyway, I really like this so I'm going to wear it for a while make sure I still like it if not I'll sell it but um, I definitely thought that was worth 10 okay these I truly literally have no idea why they're in my bag I hope nobody else like wanted these I, do, I have no idea I did not pick up Granimal size 24 I'll take those back and redonate them because I have no idea why they're there and same with these, honestly. That is so strange. I wonder if they accidentally bagged somebody else's stuff. See, that that is so weird. Okay. I will take those back and ask them. Um, this I picked up. Um, it was on the free thing. Um, I know it's got kind of a scuff there, but Old Hardy's coffee mugs and stuff. I thought this might be worth money, and since it was free, it's $19.89. I'm going to look it up. Um, if not, I'll just redonate it back. Yeah, that is weird. I didn't expect to find things that I had no idea why they were in there. Okay, this. 
this is a Vince sweater. It's very, very, very basic. It's just, it's just plain old black, just about as, you know, plain as you can be, but it is Vince, and it was half price day, so I picked that up. It's a size medium, but it's a size medium, <laughs> I think small to medium. I, I don't know. I guess maybe it stretches. It depends on how you wear your clothing. It would be a pretty tight medium, I think, but I'm going to sell that. I'm pretty sure I can do decently on that for half price day. And then this thing, this, as we all know, St. John by Marie Gray, size 8. I looked for a skirt or pants or anything else. This is more of a dark navy. I know my lights, I don't have them really coordinated to take photos. I just wanted to get this haul out of the way. Um, but anyway, it's got the, I don't know if it has pockets. I guess it doesn't. But anyway, I still think as long as this doesn't have any holes, and I looked it over pretty well at the thrift, and so I think that'll be an easy, you know, probably 40 or 50. I've got to look up how John Gray is doing lately. Okay, so that is that bag. And I spent $33 total. So maybe I spent more because I had kids' clothes in there that I have no clue about, but that's okay. <laughs> I do have nieces and nephews, but um, I don't know. Okay, so these are men's Skecher shape-ups. Um, you know, if I'm paying really, really low prices, I will buy these. Otherwise, I don't pay more than just a few dollars for them because I think they do sit a lot longer than these two. These are a size 9, and I believe these are men's. Almost sure they are, but sometimes I get confused on that. But they looked like at least the uppers were in very, very good condition and shouldn't need that much cleaning. The bottom, I have to go do some gum removal or something so I'll soak those bottoms for a few minutes and then scrub those up and let them dry but otherwise I'm really happy with that find okay and again truly this is a surprise to me I have no idea where these boots came from uh, oh no these I did pick up I lied these I saw were North Face so these I'm not going totally crazy these I did pick up um, to resell. I saw these in the kids section and um, so I'm definitely going to sell those. Um, let me look at this again. Maybe I, I know I went to the kids section, but no, Carter's. I would never, I mean, it's fine. It's just like I have so much stuff to sell. I would not have picked up a Carter's um, pair of uh, overalls. So now this is St. Croix Knits. And then it has this little logo. This is for Brush Creek up here in our town. Um, so I found that people don't mind that on their clothing. If it says Brush Creek on it, that's a little bit different story. But there, this logo is on the Patagonia, I find, a lot. And I just always put that, you know, it's the logo from a local dude ranch type type resort and no one ever says anything and it doesn't seem to affect my prices on those pieces. So anyway, this is a much, I need to work on my lighting here I don't want to make it too dark that makes it almost too dark but you can see it's a really nice rich um, black and it's it just looks almost unworn the uh, the lights the way I have them right now are kind of washing it out but um, but it's much richer and nicer than it looks okay they gave me this for a dollar um, and I didn't even look it up it's like Bondi Australian Nip and Tuck. It still has the tags on it. They had gotten this at TJ Maxx for $24 for a dollar. You know, I like to get swimsuits and shorts in on the off season because that's when nobody else is doing it. And so um, if I had my way, I'd be listing just swimsuits and shorts now because I think that people travel. You know, I know with the coronavirus, that's not quite as true, but um, you know, definitely on the, on normal years, um, whatever no one else is doing, that's what I like to do. Um, these I just bought for my little nephew in China. Um, he loves cars, and so I'm going to wrap some of his other gifts in them. They're just cars, curtains. The problem with sending a box, especially right now, is it can take months and months and months. I don't even know if they're going to get this by Christmas, so that's why I'm real careful sending a lot of clothing, because by the time they get it, maybe they won't fit. But um, I saw these, they were a couple bucks, and I'm just going to wrap up his Christmas gifts in them and hope that they do get them. My mom sent two boxes in the last year, and one box got there, it just took forever. And then the other box, 
it never did arrive in China and it came back to her. And so she was out, you know, all the postage. She got the stuff back, but then, you know, the kids have outgrown the dresses and the things that are in there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a shot and send them a Christmas gift just since I don't get to see them this year and just hope that it gets to China. Um, this is Scully. I always pick this up if it's a decent, you know, weird um, style. And this is kind of a, I don't know what you call it, a frock shirt. Or there's a name for it. Um, my friend Virginia knows. And uh, I'll just look it up. It's it's a certain style of Western shirt. Um, people wear these to rendezvous and to different um, different Western type things. And they just wear them every day, I'm assuming. And it looks like got one more item sorry you're seeing the blue bag in the camera oh, this is raw video guys this is <laughs> this is how I roll right now hold on here okay so I've talked about this brand before and I find it a decent amount um, I think it's out of Boulder I know it's out of Colorado topo t-o-p-o so I've sold shoes in this brand and I've sold pants and the pants and the shoes normally go for way over $35 each easily and very few people have it now this topo ranch it doesn't seem like it's quite the popular part of their line and I saw this about two weeks ago and then I just didn't get back and then it was half price day so I went ahead and picked this up I only paid let's see shirts are normally three dollars so I paid about a dollar fifty and I think I can easily get 20 even though it has a little bit of fade and stuff so because it's just so rare uh, as far as the brand goes so anyway guys that is the end of this haul I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff sent to sell hound and listed and then I have another big haul that I have to go through. Um, it's the four boxes of things that my friend gave me. I have no idea what's in there, if even one item is, is worth it or not. I might just be hauling it all back to the thrift tomorrow. Who knows? But I definitely need to get that out of my way. It is four huge boxes. I mean, I'm talking about chewy dog food boxes, like that you would get a 50-pound bag of dog food in. And four of them uh, that size are full of clothes. So I'm going to make space so that I can even film it. It's going to be really hard um, since I don't really have a way to, you know, I might try to figure out a way to prop my camera up so I don't have to hold it to where you can still see the items. Um, right now I'm just not set up to do that so I normally just hold up my, my phone when I'm filming. But anyway, I want to get that set up and we'll just go through it and see together what I ended up with. Okay guys, you have a good day. Bye-bye.